Benin City is surrounded by moats which has been in existence for centuries. The moat is known in Benin as Iya, which was first built by Oba Ogwala in 1280 AD to 1295 AD to fortify Benin City from invaders and from Udo warriors under the command of Chief Akpanigyakon, a powerful warlord and the ruler of Udo. The moat is regarded as one of the wonders of the world. The Guinness Book of World Records describes described the walls of Benin City as the world's second largest man-made structure after China's Great Wall in terms of length and series of 18 ramparts as the most extensive earthwork in the world. The dish was dug to form an inner moat and the excavated sand was used to construct an external wall. According to historical facts, Obao Gwala completed the first and the second modes. He directed that 20 smaller modes be constructed in different villages to protect the people against invaders. The Benin moat is said to be over 3,200 kilometers long and those within Benin city consisted of ramparts and moats enclosing a 4,000 square kilometer that is 2,485.5 miles of community lands. In total, the Benin wall system put together was over 10,000 kilometers of earth boundaries. After the reign of Obaogwola, Oba Ewai the Great in the 15th century between 1440 AD to 1473 AD, an additional 3,200 kilometers of moats were constructed to further fortify Benin City. The fortification was used to create different gates numbering nine to the city that were shot at night with guards washing over the city. According to the Secretary Benin Traditional Council, Frank Irabo, the moat which has an inner stage was constructed to protect the king's palace while the outer moat is for the protection of Benin City. He said the moat was so deep to make it difficult for the enemies to gain access to the city. About Gola that started the Benin moat. They actually built the moat for military reason. Apart from that, it was very deep in the olden days that it was difficult for the enemy to enter the moat and then start climbing up again to say they want to enter the city for invasion. So, you see, as a military strategy, you are up there. The enemy is inside the moat. So how will it be able to defeat you that is up there? And later several down both social, economic, cultural and historical purposes. It is worthy of note that despite civilization, the ancient Benimoats are still visible in some areas while in other places land grabbers have sold, sand filled and erected structures on the moat. This development has forced successive governments to demolish illegal structures built on the moats. With the world becoming a global village, a school of thought believes that the Benin moats should be rebuilt like those of China. The Great Wall of China is a series of fortifications built across the historical northern houses of ancient Chinese states built over the course of hundreds of years by six different Chinese dynasties and is said to be over 2,300 years. Just as the Benin moat was constructed to protect the city against invaders, the China walls were also built to help keep out not invaders. But today, the wall has been rebuilt made a tourist destination. It will not be out of place if what the China war has turned into can also be replicated in the case of the Benin Moat. Apart from being a defensive fortification around Benin City, the Benin Moat served as boundary demarcation, flood control, and was a site for dumping waste. Even though it was dug several years or centuries ago, the moat is still very useful today. Of course, Edo State Government recently constructed the Benin Storm Water Project and the Benin Moat was very helpful. From Benin, Best Mbire reporting.